one of the things that both delights and frustrates me when we first start talking to any sales organization is our sales cycle is so long. And the first question that comes into my head that I find an appropriate way to ask is, is it too long? Or do you know for certain that it's as short as it could and should be? Because sometimes we, in a, within an organization, again, do what we know best or we do what we've always done. And we just tend to accept that, well, it's going to take 12 months for blah, 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 blah. But if there are ways that over time where it could go down to six to eight months on average instead of 12, what would you do with the extra time, the extra revenue? So sometimes it's just a matter of just dissecting and diagnosing what's causing it and walking through you know, an objective opinion, whether it's, you know, hey, let's go ahead and you know, borrow Keith, have him come in, or, or just somebody else from outside your organization to take a look at it. Some of the best people to evaluate your sales process are, are new hires or, or potential candidates uh, because they have that fresh perspective. Now, this is where as a leader, we might need to be a little vulnerable because if somebody's telling us our, our baby's not as pretty as we thought it was, but if you have a willingness to, to do what needs to be done, and to your earlier question on how do we know what we need to maybe ch you know, change or adjust, sometimes internal processes, now our sales cycle is taking longer than it needs to when it doesn't have to. A uh, perfect example of you know, a law firm that I was working with that they said they had this huge merger that they've been working with for, for months. And as soon as sort of the work from home came down and, and some shutdowns, their panic was this multi-million dollar deal was going to fall. And what they found is they had six different attorneys from five different states all on a Zoom call, by the way, more casually dressed than before they typically would be, but there was no planes, no... Com so they got done in five Zoom calls in the span of one month, what would have typically taken three, three months or more, bunch of logistics, hotels, airplanes, right? So in some cases, they were able to shorten the sales cycle by making adjustments to their process, which in, in fact included more virtual. And so now they're looking forward to say, at what times in the future does their in-person make sense? Maybe early on when people are meeting and bonding, and then there could be a, a subsequent times in between where, no, we've already had a precedent where we can do this effectively virtually. So now their internal processes and communication with both existing and prospective new clients include that conversation, A, to make certain that the others are capable or comfortable with it, but it also lets them know that, hey, we're going to get things done and we're going to get things done more quickly than you may have anticipated.